Well, here we are at uh, Tavistock Golf Club. A lovely sunny day. First time we've played the course. Uh, there's a medal competition going on, so we're going to be held up a little bit, looks like it, but uh, looking forward to a, a good start to the day. There's uh, two people up on the green at the moment, just putting the flag back in. Chris is over there into the sun. And I've got to try to get over the top of this trees, I think. Or bushes. So we did all right on that one. I had a five and Chris had a four. Uh, so this is the second second tee. Uh, There's another par four, but stroke index four. So they'll give us a rip. Chris about to play his third. So chip and run, I think. Oh no, he's going for the putt, looks like it. He's got up and we're both beside one another, so let's see if we get on with the putting. So, so this is hole number five, and there's a par five, 520 yards. Just finished a par three. And uh, Chris unfortunately blobbed. And I picked up a couple of points. shot so far but still short of the green so uh, it's a difficult par five into the wind Blake's just going back in so uh, Chris is going with his third shot now see what he can come up with Sounds like a good connection. Yeah, just short of the green. Nice shot. I've just had to pick up, having put my ball in the water and then uh, knocked it into a gorse bush. So, uh, ball's back in my pocket. I think we might need to go around the left hand side of the seems to be in the, the next tee possibly over there so we've reached the ninth hole again some fantastic views out over and uh, looks like we're heading for the. And the fantastic view must be me. Yeah. You got my hair, my, my, my best idea. And we're heading for the Stockland Hill. If you aim for Stockland Hill mast. Stockland Hill? No, not Stockland Hill. Esri Tor. Right. Okay. Esri Tor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we might be in the right area. Lots of players out today, there's a medal going on. Right, uh, Mr. Davis, the tee off. Hit the ground a little bit, but it's gone in the right direction. Well, 
Well, we've also some points on the last one, but uh, Chris is in the lead at the halfway stage with uh, leading by three points. So uh, this is a par three. It's about 150 yards into the wind. Um, over some gorse bushes, so we'll see what happens here. Oh, this is a par five into the wind. It's uh, low 12. So let's see what finds here. Take it that wasn't quite where you intended. No. Well, we both had uh, two points on that hole, and now we come down to uh, heading down towards a par three with a shared green. That's a uh, uphill. Uh, so we got a bit confused on the way down because we were finding two flags on the green. One, one's a yellow and one's a white and, and then we saw some red flags as well so we're all a bit confusing but we think we're going for the uh, yellow one this time That was a difficult par 3, 200 yards uphill with a crosswind. We both got down for a 5. That's, uh, here we've got a par 5 of uh, 444 yards, so a couple of bunkers in front and it looks fairly straight. So uh, we'll have a go at this one. Sounded like a nice shot. Straight down the middle. So uh, I blobbed the last one, uh, far five, and uh, Chris picked up a point. Chris, was it? Six for one. Yeah. Six for one. And I just missed it on a point, but uh, it's a lovely aspect out over there with the sun shining on the morning. So uh, we've had a few sheep to negotiate and clear off the green. down this way towards the hill and then back again and then back towards the clubhouse. Somebody in front seems to have lost their ball in a little sh bit of gorse, had to take a drop. bothered. Yeah, it's not beside that little shrub. So, uh, well, Chris has lost his tea, but uh, hand it over to Chris. And then when I finish, Chris just press that button on top of that. On top? Yeah, just, just save it. Okay. Alright. Here we go. There he goes, Graham. Put his tea in the ground. Got his best Sunday hat on. Great shot, straight down the middle. Oh, he's show off, he always saves it for the camera, didn't he? Oh, I think you might have run out of battery again. No, it's all right, the screen saying goes off the wall. Oh, it uh, oh we had a, I had a 5-2 and Chris had a 6-1 on the last hole, so the 17th. Now this is the, 
the 18th. Uh, heading back towards the clubhouse. 345 four, 45 yards par for stroke, stroke index 9. Uh, certainly got a bit chillier now. Uh, okay, looks like we're heading for the marker up over the hill. And uh, of course, we'll get this one away. Just heading left of the marker, but a good strike. But difficult. We are on the 18th, ground's ready to tee up. Uphill. And a good job. And Chris has lost his ball somewhere, so he's just take a drop. And it's just bouncing down towards the green now. Is going to make the green? No, just short. What a good attempt from there. Uh, I'm over here by the fairly long putt. And, uh, we've been very fortunate. It's been an absolutely beautiful day today on a lovely course. And the greens are in immaculate condition. Uh, it's a real pleasure to play a course like this. So that's the end of the round and uh, Chris how many points you have? Yeah, 29 okay, and yes, I had how many? Yes. 30 I was it? I remember Glenn, <laughs> you know. But anyway, but whatever it was, a, I think a, you had a point more than me. A lovely round yeah. of golf. Yeah, okay. <laughs>